Hello everybody and welcome to American <laughs> Beer TV. We Holy are shit. going nuts tonight. Yeah, this is this is uh this is a bit extravagant, a big stream. Yeah. So Abacus uh, versus Sakuba. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Or the vertical of Abacus one versus Abacus two. two. Right. I went over the whole back of these, it has the whole story, and they're pretty much identical. Um Barrel-aged brandy wines uh, that have both been aged in a series of barley wines. Barley wines. I keep saying brandy wine. I don't know why. Um, Bill likes brandy wine. <laughs> uh, barley wines that have been aged in bourbon barrels, brandy barrels, wine barrels, uh, double uh, double barrel uh, barrels, all kinds. Yeah, of Yeah, it's like their whole array of. Yeah, just every barrel they've the got. So they've program. got some of them yeah. in there. So. Uh, well, fuck it. We'll start with Abacus. This one's a 2011. Right. So, yeah. And you've been hanging on to this one for how long? Does this have a date on it? Or yeah, long? so this came out this, this the time say, of year. But this year. one's 13%. Yeah, they yeah they came out they came out about this time last year. Yeah, that one's 13%, and this one's 12.5. Oh, fuck it. Let's open it up. Yeah, so it's. I'm trying to remember. It's. Yeah, that's right. So Abacus, Abacus came out. Then they're they're soon gonna release. Uh, yeah, they just released the 15th. So I'm sure you guys have all had the 15th. Uh, yeah. And then Abacus comes out, and then next to release in the next month or two is uh, Parabola. That right. comes out like the first of May or end of April. Or yeah, something. you didn't mix them up, did you? No. It's, you got uh, it. Okay. So Abacus Sakuba. Right, same right. here. Abacus Sakuba. Okay, yeah. cool. Um, we can see already that Sakuba had a bit more carbonation. Yeah. And and it's it it kind of looks like soda pop. I mean the bottle the Yeah, and they, they really just released this, I think. Yeah, the Sakuba not too long ago. A couple weeks ago. Yeah. A month a few weeks maybe. ago. A month at the most, I think. Right. So we're in middle of Yeah. March, so yeah, I think it came out maybe the end of February. Yeah. And so the Sakuba already, one difference though, is that it's 12.5 versus the Abacus is 13%. Okay. So, there we go. So that's it. Let's oh, get into the, the nose on this. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Wow. Yeah, I can... That's you nice. can tell kind of um, off the bat that this has a little more age on it. Um, it's a little more of that, like a little that muscle. You're getting that bourbon. You're definitely getting bourbon notes. Um, that's... Still... Ooh, I'm getting yeah. coffee. I'm getting some coffee, some roasting this off. This kind of like fresh sweetness. Kinda. Yeah. This one feels, it does have more of an aroma yeah. of the older age. Now, they were both aged in the barrels for the same amount of time, 11 months, according to the box. But this one smells like it's been aged longer. Because it's been aged in the bottle longer. But it's got more of a bourbon barrel. Yeah, and it's it. been, it's, there's no the light shock here. It's been kept in the box, uh, which is in why they In another box it, in a cooler. Yeah, area. which is why they put them in box. They don't want they don't want this stuff to touch light. They want it to be, they want you to be able to age it. So that's what I did. Uh, kept it at right about, right about 40 degrees. Yeah. You know, so this one, I'm definitely getting more bourbon barrel notes. I'm not getting a lot of hops in the barley wine. I don't think this is a particularly hoppy barley wine. Mm -hmm. Um it's it's yeah, a I'm nice getting dark more of like the kind of deep burnt caramel. Yeah. The there's bourbon. A, a there's little, a little bit of the leather from like a brandy barrel. A little bit, yeah. The leather, that leather smokiness to it. Are you picking up any wine barrel characteristics to it? It smells a little hot. You get a little alcohol, a little alcohol heat on there. About oh, thirteen percent. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um. No, I don't think. Do they use any wine barrels? They, it says wine barrels. It oh, says, it is wine barrels. Yeah, it says uh, some barrels, uh, some wine, and okay. others are the barrels retired from our Firestone Union. So, well, wine barrels would be a real dramatic. Yeah. yeah thing. So I'm not picking gonna, up very much yeah. in here at all. That's gonna all. add like a ton of complexity, because that's like night and day. For you know, the with the Sakuba side by side, I'm getting much more chocolate roasty malts. Yes. Um, I'm getting like sweet, like but it's sweeter, not a sweeter, fresh, right? Chocolate. I'm picking up, a, still picking up some alcohol on it. It smells a little sharper. Mm. So let's let's get in and taste this stuff. Uh, so abacus, abacus first. first. Yeah. Let's Cheers. go. Cheers. Cheers. Wow. Ooh. Yeah, very nice. 
nice. Really like rich caramel. Yeah. Mm. Real rich, real warm. Not very hoppy at all. No, no hops. Yeah, not very hoppy at all. And the hops do, the hops will fall out a bit from the aging, aging. process. I but don't still, think this is a particularly hoppy barley wine. No. I really don't. Um, I'm getting no oxidation. I was no. smelling it and I was like, I wonder if it's going to have a little bit of that oxidation. No. Not at all. No. Uh, it's nice, clean, it's fresh. Um, it does have um, a lot of bourbon. I would yeah. say that predominantly the bourbon barrel that is right the most through the middle. You really taste those bourbon notes. Right. I'm not picking up much in, in the way of wine notes. Now, now tasting Abacus, then smelling Sakuba, it really changes. Yeah, it does. I mean, there, there is, surprisingly enough, there's a, a big difference in the aroma between these two. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, so I think I think this is a fairly... So since the first time they did this, could be, <coughs> excuse me, could be that they... Uh, Kind of said, okay, we know what this right. came out like. Yeah. Do you think and they they, they tweaked it to be different? I think so. Yeah. I know. Um, I saw a video. They've got some great videos, by the way. Yeah. Uh, Matt, their brewer, was saying that he's not a big fan of aging beers. Okay. Like other than aging them in barrels to produce right, a certain right, flavor. Right. Right. But like doing what we're doing, like holding on to bottles for a, a while. Year, and yeah. He is like, you know, the beer the when I bottle this beer, that's what I want it to taste like. So I, 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 you know, I have to totally respect that. I mean, he's the brewer. That's, yeah. He's the one. That's his. That's heart, a good point. Know? Yeah. So. And so that way, maybe yeah. you know, he tasted, wrote his tasting notes down on number one and number two. He said, okay, this is what I want to do yeah. different next totally. year. So. Well, let's give us uh, this, uh, Sakuba, a try. Or, Sakaba. Yeah, that's totally different. It is. Now this has. It's very different. I get more of a sour note from yeah, this. Yeah, a little bit of a sour note. Not so much anywhere near amount as the bourbon notes. Mm -hmm. um, more of like what brandy barrels bring to. A little less. Not sharp. very hoppy though. Uh, uh, this one might be a little no. hoppier. It's not. Hoppy I I think I think I'm picking up a t uh, just a. Tiny bit of maybe uh, a red wine barrel, mm -hmm. a little bit of tannin quality to it. Yeah, I think that's where that a little bit of that tart sourness comes. Yeah, tart sour. Yeah, it's yeah, not, but it's not, not even. You could never say it's a sour beer. It's oh no 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 no. I mean it's. I mean it's. I mean we're really getting down because we're analyzing both of these beers. We're really trying yeah. to get down to really the extremes and pick out the differences because they are lots of um, like fresh oak character. Yeah. Through this yeah, the the barrel characteristics really yeah definitely come out. some more red wine. I mean, this is a freaking barrel aged beer. Different barrel types of barrels, yeah. and I think I think really the trick with the difference between the two of these beers are the different percentages of the different styles. I would say this, I would say Abacus, to me tastes like predominantly bourbon barrels. With some brandy barrels and very little wine, and maybe some fresh oak or some some of the other uh, the double jack or the double barrel, the Union Firestone Union barrels. Yeah, Union barrels. With the Sakuba, I would say less less bourbon. I would say almost 50% bourbon in Abacus, maybe 20% brandy, maybe 10% wine, and maybe 20 the rest Union. Yeah. Union. This one, I would say maybe. 25 30 percent bourbon 20 percent brandy uh 20 25 percent wine maybe maybe, uh, maybe 15 to 20 percent wine and then the rest firestone uh union because i'm getting i'm really able to pick out more of all the various different types of barrel i think in the sakuba and that could be because it's younger maybe Matt, you know, there, if you see this video, to, <laughs> yeah, there's, us, there's, tell us, uh, did. tell us the secret. Abacus and Sakuba. Yeah, I would have to say, which if I were to pick, pick, if you had to pick, if I, I put a gun to your fucking head and said pick, pick one, one, I would pick the Abacus, the original. Yeah, it just, and I think maybe that's just because it's been aged. 
these beers obviously get better with age. It could be. Um, I, I have to agree with you. Um, but the yeah, Sakuba is to me, still to me, it's, awesome. To me, it, it just... It seems like everything's come together. Right. Whereas this still seems so well, cool. Very cool. Cheers. Cheers. Get out and drink some barrel-aged, awesome craft beer. Yes.